hi welcome to this tutorial so this video is about how to set up SDL2 uh, for the Visual Studio Code on the Windows machine so let me show you the final outputs so this is a sample C++ file that is trying to render an image uh, found inside the images folder Alright, so I think, uh, let me just run again. Okay, so this uh, image, right? So this show that SDL2 has been successfully and correctly set up on this machine. Okay, so uh, this is what you do, right? So I will leave all the URL inside the description. So you can download this uh, Ming W application file, okay, and then uh, also download this uh, sample C++ project files, okay, and all the configurations has been set up. So when you download this zip file, <coughs> the content is a folder, so you will put the folder in your C drive over here. And for this ESC file, so basically you run it and uh, there are two packages you need to install. The first one is Ming32 GCC G++. Okay, so check on this one and install it. And the second one is the debugger. Yeah, so this is the one. Right, so check on this one and then uh, apply to install it. So once you install the packages, uh, you will need to edit your environment variables. So uh, you can type environment here and then click on this environment variables. Go to the path, press edit. Uh, add in one more line so you can put the C Ming GW bin alright so this is a path right so that all the uh, compiler all the executable okay can be found okay so we are putting the path here okay once you've done that I think uh, it's good to go so you can open up your Visual Studio Code open folder and then uh, go into your SDL window press select folder okay so most of the thing has been set up for you and now all you need to do is to go to run and then choose run without oh okay so uh, it is recommended that you also install you can search for this extension it should be the first one from Microsoft right so install this uh, it will give you the intelligence and all the useful features okay so once you install that uh, we can try to run this sample C++ file okay so click on run and choose run without debugging okay and if you are ready to uh, code your own C++ file so what you can do is you can maybe uh, copy this file to somewhere else for backup okay and then after that you can uh, change the content of this file okay and then try to compile and run again alright so thank you for watching this tutorial I hope it is useful to you